So, I may or may not have become slightly obsessed with a musical that I haven't heard a single song nor lyric from. How has this happened? Well, they have great social media. This musical, Gutenberg the Musical, currently starring Andrew Reynolds and Josh Gad, opened on Broadway, and they have a little twist at the end of every single show that they will have this special guest. They will come in and they're the producer, and they will give a Broadway contract to the characters in the show, Bud and Doug. And this is a great moment in the show. One, because, you know, they get treated to like a little celebrity. Every show has this little twist. No, when you go and see Gutenberg, you don't know who you're going to get at the end of it. So it's a nice little like, oh, it's that person. It's a great twist. But what's even better is that they are posting on social media, on TikTok and Instagram, the clips and the little footage at the end of all their special guests, which is building hype around the show, which is, you know, making word of mouth. I have not heard a single lyric from this show, yet I am obsessed with Gutenberg the musical because because I've seen these, because I'm like, I'm, I'm so obsessed with it. It's such a great marketing tool. I love a good social media marketing tool. Uh, so... In the vein of this, I I had a little idea. What if I ranked every single cameo that I could currently find on TikTok uh, in like a big tier list of who is like the funniest, who makes it their own, and who is like the more typical ones? Uh, who's like who's like legend status and why why their cameo works so well? But if you haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Ellie. I talk about theatre. I am the most chaotic theatre person on the internet. I do reviews, I do discussions, I do tier lists and chaotic things like this. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It really helps me out, helps out the channel. But let's turn our attention to this beautiful tier list. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to show you the footage of these guys uh, and their little moment on stage. Uh, the first four are ones that are being filmed from the audience and the rest of them are actually from the uh, Gutenberg, TikTok and Instagram pages. The way I'm going to rank this is I want to see who has the best cameo. I want to see who plays with the material the most, who gets the most kind of like hint to what they actually do, uh, who has like the most fun. Obviously, legend status is going to play a factor into this. If you are like the biggest, biggest celebrity, you've already got a little bit of a boost going in and doing this. And I feel like that's got you got to take that into account. If legends are being legends here, you got to You got to give them legendary status. So we're going to react and we're going to assign them one of these five tiers. The top tier understands the assignment. They are funny. They make their own jokes with it. They they just, they just play the material so well, and they just, they just hammer it home, and they make that moment their own. Legends being legends, this is like the legends who maybe, you know, they may not play around with the material as much, but they are legend status. They are like icons of the moment, forever and ever and ever and they need to be recognized for their legendary status and all the fun of the people who like have like a, a few little nice like jabs they may get like one joke in about their like personal celebrity status uh but you know it's 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 normal the usual is like the middle i feel like the usual is like they're just doing the script they're gonna hand it over and then they're gonna walk off you know this may be the people who are like, you know, they're not really as versed in like comedy. They don't come from like a massive comedy background. So they kind of struggle with like the banter or like playing with it a bit more. And then the bottom tier, which I don't think I'm honestly going to use, but I wanted to try and have five tiers at least, was could have done more. You know, maybe they flub a few lines here and there, you know. I feel like this is safe for the ones that I can very much see. There's like something really funny that they could do, but they don't quite do it. So. Let's start with some of the ones uh, that have been filmed from the back of a mezzanine. Or even in one of these cases, it's actually quite far ahead and actually actually does this quite well. So let's find out. First up, we have Betty Who, which I'm going to try and find right now. Here, another no. <laughs> I'm a famous Broadway producer. Yes. And I hold in my hands a Broadway concert. <laughs> Betty Who is such an icon. 
I, I, I adore Betty Who. So Betty Who is currently on Broadway. She is the current Persephone in uh, Hades Town. Uh, now, talking about the cameo though, that was pretty much the the basic. That was the gist. That was like that's what you normally do. Like. You come on, you've said the lines, and you go off. Like, is it, like, the most special one? Eh, I don't know. I feel like this is very much, like, the usual. I feel like Betty Who is, like, the baseline. Betty Who, you know, I, I don't think she could have gone... Like, maybe, maybe like, there is, a, there is an argument that she could have done more. But honestly, I think they had fun with it. Next up, we have absolute pop icon Debbie Gibson. <laughs> Another vocalist. Oh. See, that's what we want to see. We want a little hint. We want a little, like, cheeky, like, here's a little hint to, to what I do. There's only, like, one little jab in there. There's only one, like, little hint to, like, her music and her career. But that's a little fun, you know? She uh, she kind of understands it. She's like, okay, I I'm here. I'm going to do what I need to do. Here's my lines. She 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 loses it a little in a, in a little moment. She's like, okay, I'm going to... She has a little chuckle, but she pulls it back. She makes a jab. She makes a joke. And I, I love her for that. Debbie Gibson's one is a lot of fun. Um, you know, maybe not even a little fun. It's it's a lot of fun. It's very high in the little fun tier. Next up, I am really surprised that they didn't post this one on their official social media. Limo and Miranda. I so you can hear how the cheers just keep going on and on because they have Limo and Miranda on the stage. That's so good. <laughs> yes, Lynn. <laughs> this show is fantastic. Now I need to hear another note. I'm staging screens, Lynn Manuel Miranda. <laughs> man didn't even, man didn't even look at the. <laughs> Not even I'm, I'm famous Broadway producer Lynn Miranda. Just I am staging screens. <laughs> Man just bragging. <laughs> so Lin's one's cute. I think it's cute. He he kind of has like the playfulness. He does the he does the Hamilton pose, which you know you have to appreciate. You have to appreciate. There's room for it though. I feel like there there are moments within it that could take it to the god tier, to the understands the assignment tier. But Doug, you are not throwing away your shot. Come on. So he has like a couple like fun moments in there, but there's there's so much more that Linda Miranda can do. Come on, sir. Come on. If anyone has so much material and so much like career to like play around with the idea of becoming a producer, it is Linda Miranda. Like, come on. So I feel like I can't put him any higher than a little fun. I really want to put him in Legends being Legends because I feel like he has, he started off so strong. He has some fun moments, but I don't know. I need, I need a little bit more, a little bit more to bring him up to those higher tiers. And finally from the ones uh, filmed by audience members is Laurie Metcalf. <laughs> I love how it sounds like she's just reading the hats. <laughs> Icon. Show is fantastic. I don't need to hear another note. <laughs> Slow walk. I'm a famous Broadway producer. And he builds up. Builds it up. I hold in my hands a Broadway concert. <laughs> <laughs> Look, does Laurie add much? No. Laurie doesn't add like anything about her career. She doesn't add any like extra jabs. But the way she delivers every single moment of that is so perfect. The slow walk is iconic. <laughs> the Broadway cont track. It's the slight like she finds the comedy in every single little moment of the like five lines of dialogue that the Broadway producers get. Legends being legends. Legends being legends. I feel like it would go to the understands the assignment tier 
if like there was something about her career, something about being like a Tony winner, something about you know, I'm pretty sure she has an she has an Oscar as well. She has an Academy Award, like absolute icon in her own right, Laurie Metcalf. But the way that she just delivers it all is so perfect. And now we can move on to. Uh, the ones that they've officially posted on their social media pages. So first off, we're going to start with Billy Crystal. Uh, as a child who grew up in the 2000s, I know Billy Crystal as the voice of Mike Wazowski, but he was recently on Broadway with Mr. Saturday Night, I'm pretty sure the show was called. Uh, so no stranger to Broadway. Let's see his producer role. Billy Crystal is a comedian. So I am expecting, I'm expecting a lot here. I'm expecting a lot. Five, blue, <laughs> duck. duck. <laughs> I need the surgery in this eye. <laughs> Your show is just so medium. <laughs> I loved it. It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. I have no notes. Oh, God, maybe, maybe you're sweating. <laughs> it's a lot. Oh, and, and, and I've had dinner with Brando eating Thai food. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's so good. Does he, he goes completely off the script. And you know what? It's so perfect. It's so perfect. He just he just doesn't get he doesn't even like I don't even think he said like one line of the script correctly at this point. But he's so charming and he's so funny that it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it's wild. Doug. Doug. Yeah, Doug. Yeah. Up close, it's scary. Oh, yeah. What I have in my hand, a Broadway contract. No, no. Oh, yes. This is serious. No, I know. <laughs> like a proper comedian, he's milking his moment. He is milking it. I know he's not. Congratulations, Bud Doug. You have your show. Thank you. Oh, my God. So good. So good. I, just like the producer, I have no notes. Just understands the assignment. Understands the assignment. Man comes in, just plays around with it, has so much fun, adds in so many extra jabs to it, using his like skills as a comedian to like make fun of Gad and Rannells. <laughs> Play around with this show. It's so good. It's so good. I, I don't know how something else is going to beat it. There's only one more that I feel like could possibly beat it, but we're going to have to wait and see. Next up, we have trans icon Dylan Mulvaney. Now, if you don't know Dylan Mulvaney, uh, she is a TikTok influencer who runs a series called uh, Days of Girlhood. This show is fantastic! <laughs> I don't need to hear another note. You know... I dabble in TikTok, but I am a famous Broadway producer. <laughs> yes. Congratulations, buddy, Doug. The show's a hit. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, Dylan. So thank you. Now, Dylan's one is is short but sweet. Dylan's one is short but sweet. I'm not really expecting Dylan to like punch in those comedy things like Billy Crystal, like someone who is like a seasoned comedian. Uh, but she has so much fun, and you can tell how much joy she is having on that stage. Like. Like, she has, like, a natural presence to her, like, a natural stage presence that really does help her. I feel like she sh she should solidly go in a little fun. She's a little fun. You know, is, is, is there moments where she plays with it? Yeah, and she gets, like, one one kind of, like, TikTok joke in there. Like, you know, she she does, like, play around with it. She does have fun with it. But, like, you know, it, it, I, I don't think it quite hits the highest tiers. But I feel like her enthusiasm for it just kind of makes you feel so happy for her, which is great. And honestly, trans icons be trans icons. Mwah, we love her. Next up, Gaten Matarazzo, star of Stranger Things and recently on Broadway in Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barbarous Fleet Street. Uh, so let's take a look at Gaten Matarazzo. Fun! No! <laughs> Another one who just has that energy and enthusiasm. We love it. I'm a famous Broadway producer. <laughs> and I hold in my hands a Broadway Oh, contract. sell it. Sell it. 
Sell it, King. Sell it. It's a little strut. Oh you got your Thank you. Spin. Okay. So uh, Gaten's another one who doesn't really play much with the script, but it's the presentation that just that is so good. It's the little, it's the little Broadway cut. Like, <laughs> no, it's like boxing. <laughs> You know boxing when like the you have like round one, round two, and uh, and you have the people, the the girls walking on the across like the ring, holding up the signs. <laughs> I just think of the scene in Kinky Boots. Gaten is giving that, and I feel like he's a uh, he, he. It's more than a little fun. It it brings it brings him up to legends being legends. If he threw in like a Stranger Things reference into there, if he even threw in like a Sweeney Todd reference. Uh, no one's gonna harm this show not while i'm around like i feel like that would have brought it up to like the highest tier but you know i feel like he, he sells it so much it's so fun it's so joyful i adore it next up the latest one which i was literally waiting for them to post this one to film this video uh, and they posted it like 20 minutes ago it is the icon legend star of frozen original alphabet and wicked Adina Menzel, this Adele Dizzy. This is so great, I don't want to hear another no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Queen. <laughs> mother. Okay, well, Sorry, I mother. Sorry, mother. Sorry, mother. Mother, mother, mother. Oh, mother, mother, mother. <laughs> Mother! I am a famous Broadway producer. Yes. And a Tony winner. Yes, a, you are. Queen. A Disney queen. Yes, you see? <laughs> and so on behalf of everyone at Adele Dazeem Productions, <laughs> oh I hold in my hands a Broadway contract! <laughs> Oh, this is another fantastic one. Okay, this has got to be, this has got to be understands the assignment. So many jabs in there. She she has the original script there. Yes, she's following that, but she plays with it. She throws in the, the, the wicked cry. She throws in everything that she can do to like build that and build that and build that. It's so good. Adele Dazeem Productions just is like the cherry on top of the layered cake that is that cameo. Oh, that's so perfect. That's so perfect. Next up, we have a double bill. We have the absolute icons, Martin Short. That was not how you pronounce his name. Martin Short and Steve Martin, the two Martins. Hey, listen, I have something to say. <laughs> but Doug, this show is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got so much. Charm. Yeah, well, I just said it. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, we don't need to hear another note. Oh, my God. I am a famous Broadway producer. <laughs> and I'm an investor! <laughs> and I hold in my hands a Broadway contract. <laughs> Congratulations, I adore Bud. Them. Fine! <laughs> and Doug, <laughs> you got your show! Thank you! Okay, now, what I will say is, I feel like Martin Short is carrying that one. Martin Short is carrying that one. That is, that is, <laughs> it's everything he does. When he like loses it, he reads the wrong line. <laughs> he calls for his line. It's like his little pose at the end. I feel like out of both of them, Martin Short just... <laughs> He's like clearly the one who's like going for like the full chaos, <laughs> which is like so good. This has to go into Legends being Legends. I mean, I mean, it's so good. I feel like it's close. I feel like it's really close. It's really, I feel like it's probably the top of the tier. I feel like it is probably the top of the tier. 
uh, when it comes to these ones. I mean, I'll, I'll reorder them so that I feel like they're in the right order in the tiers as well. Oh, it's it's so close. It's just this wonderful ball of chaos. And you know me, I love chaos. So it's perfect. Next up, we have the original. This is the first one that they posted. This is Nathan Lane. Nathan Lane has such a long history in the theater, on screen, you will know who Nathan Lane is, even if you don't know his name. He was Timon in The Lion King. He was uh, Max Bialystok in The Producers. And honestly, get ready because Nathan Lane's one is so good. Nathan Lane's one is the one that made me want to make this video. But Doug, this show is fantastic. <laughs> I had the same feeling when I saw Cats. <laughs> Such a good one-liner. Just in it. Perfect. I don't need to hear another note, please. No more notes. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by my hat, but I'm a famous Broadway producer. Yeah. Perhaps you've heard of me. The name is Bialystok. Max Bialystok. Yes. Your dreams are so going to come true. Perfect reference you in links. So yes. Yes. Saw the opportunity. Seized it. <laughs> Naven Lane's one is so good. It's so good because there's such a perfect link between his like past career and what he's doing here. And they use it perfectly. They throw in the producer's reference. They, they have the see you at Sardis at the end. He gets a couple of one-liners here and there. Like, it's so good. Honestly, it's so hard for me to pick between Billy Crystal's one and Nathan Lane's one. Because I think Nathan Lane's one is so perfect. Like, it's a perfect version of this. But obviously, <laughs> Billy Crystal just kind of throws the script out the window and just plays with it. I feel like I've got to put Nathan Lane higher just because of the fact that, like, you know, he's actually doing the script. <laughs> like, Billy Crystal is absolutely hilarious. But Nathan Lane finds a way to make it really, really funny, even following that same like script. So I feel like I've got to put Nathan Lane just a little bit higher. But Billy Crystal's one is still so good. And it's even still so good. Oh my god. Okay, we're down to our final three. Next up, we have just another absolute icon of stage and screen and mostly stage. Patty Lapone icon, star of company, star of Evita, star of so many amazing, amazing musicals and just a legend, a legend. The word legend doesn't even carry enough weight to tell you how much of a legend Patty Lapone is. So let's watch. <laughs> And I hold in my hands a Broadway contract. <laughs> Congratulations, Bud <Yes>. and Tom. <laughs> Look, is it one of the more simpler ones? Yes. Like, Paddy Lapone has such a long career that you could, like, pull little references out of, which I, I, I do feel like it's a bit of a shame that she doesn't do uh, in this little cameo. But I feel like if I put her anything here, that is wrong. Even if I put her in this one, it feels wrong because her legend status is so high that it, it should, like, carry her so much. She has so much, like, presence. And look, if it, if it makes up for anything... The fact that the, the caption says, can confirm that Patty Lapone still wears a hat is, that's genius. <laughs> I love this marketing team so much. This marketing team are the greatest people in the world and I adore them so much. I love them to pieces. I feel like it's either going to be the bottom of Legends Being Legends or like the very top of a little fun. I'm going to put her at the very top of a little fun. I feel like a legend status should probably carry her into the legends being legends. And like, you know, I, I feel like any little thing, any little thing could bring her up. But I, I feel like I just I just want one little jab. I want one little thing. You are so legendary that like even just that tiniest little reference would have like probably boosted you up to like understand the assignment. But I just I just wanted one little thing, one little thing. I just needed her to say, does anyone still wear a hat? I just that's all I needed. That's all I needed for that to bring her up like two more tears. But yes, 
for now, I feel like she's the very, very top of a little fun. Rory O'Malley. Uh, this one is so special because Rory O'Malley was actually in the original cast of the Book of Mormon with... Andrew Reynolds and Josh Gad. So they've all got history together. It's so cute. It's such a lovely way to do this and such a great way to them, get them onto the stage. Like he is, he's brilliant. I'm a famous Broadway producer. Yes, you are, Ken. <laughs> Mostly religious productions in Uganda. <laughs> <laughs> and the Book of Mormon reference. Perfect, the little jab. That's what I want to see. Congratulations, Bud and Doug. You've got yourself a show! See, this is what this is what we like to see. This is what we like to see. He does the script, he follows it pretty nicely, but there's like a little thing in there. There's a little sprinkle in there that kind of hints to what he did before. And it links so perfectly. Well, it reminds me of the Nathan Lane one where they, they find a perfect way to link it to the show. I feel like it's probably the bottom of Legends being Legends. I feel like it's the bottom of Legends being Legends. It's so good. It's so good. There's the perfect little jab in there to to just line it all up. Actually, I'd probably put it, I'd probably put it uh, 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 just above, just above Gator Manor Outsides one. I feel like that's the perfect place for it. That's the perfect place for it. And finally, in this video, we're going to cover Sarah Bareilles' one. Icon, musician, and wrote the musical Waitress, worked on that show, did an absolutely amazing job on that show. Can we give her her flowers for that, please? And thank you. Thank you, Sarah Bareilles! <laughs> so panting. But Doug in this show is fantastic. Another one who just has so much charm. I, I adore her. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm a famous Broadway producer. Yes! <laughs> oh, I love it. Congratulations, Bud and Doug. <laughs> you got your show. <laughs> and brings it down. Comes in there, you go. The delivery, perfect. Okay, another one, another one who just kind of like follows it. Another one who just follows it. But I feel like she's having so much fun on that stage. Oh, she's having so much fun. See, I, I feel like it probably should go into the usual. It should probably go into the usual, like the very top of usual. It's another pack the pine situation where I feel like it's very, I could argue these ones. She's having so much fun on that stage. And that's the thing. There's no like waitress reference. There's no like, Mama, it's amazing what this musical could do. Like, I feel like there's there's things that she could do there that are like so clear and would link so perfectly to what she's done before. But she's so charming. I'm gonna put her in the usual. I feel like, ah, oh, I feel bad for this one because I feel like she should be higher. I feel like I, I have that gut instinct that she probably should be a little bit higher. I feel like that's probably the right place for it. And so this is our tier list. Obviously there's some other people who have done it before like Christopher Sieber, um, loads of other really big actors uh, and celebrities making the cameos that I couldn't quite find. And obviously the show is still open. So there's more and more cameos happening. Like as we speak, as this video goes up, there's gonna be more and more cameos happening in the future. So this is one that I am like very determined that I will come back to in the future and do a follow up. As long as this video does like quite well, as long as this video does like okay, as long as people don't absolutely hate this video, <laughs> I'm happy to do like a follow up to this one. In like three months, I will probably do like another follow up to this when we have like enough celebrities doing their cameos to do it again. What's your favorite cameo uh, from this show so far? Uh, which one were you like most surprised by? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. I adore what this show is doing and I'm so glad that I could find a way to talk about it. If you did enjoy this video, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It really helps me out have such a channel. Here's some links to my other videos on screen right now and a link to my Instagram if you want to drop me a follow over there. But that's it for me today and I hope to see you next time. Bye.